DP, this is your uh, first putting lesson. Uh, stroke looks good, better than it's ever looked. A uh, few minor things I would refine, uh, and one major one that you have to change. Okay, so the one on the left, you know, which is your your best angle. Uh, here's your stroke. Okay, a lot of good things in there. This is what I'd change. I'd refine is. See how you got like a, a narrow stance? I like to see that a little bit wider, sh shoulder width, about the same width as your, um, you know, five iron, something like that. Um, we also want the putter in the middle of the, of the stance, so the ball will be slightly ahead of the middle of your stance. That gives you the manufacturer design loft on at uh, impact. <clears throat> um, I. So I'd refine that. Also, <clears throat> several good things about it, but one thing that you know I recommend is you hold the follow through like that. That'll show you what the path was, probably the path, and also a face angle at impact. So that's giving you valuable feedback. And when you recoil or fall out of it, this one, you just kind of fell out of it and just kind of quit. It's just, we want to right to there and do a thousand one, thousand two, and then you can look up. In putting, you really never need to look up. Okay, so, so you know, face on, pretty good. I'd work a little more on, you know, taking it back, let gravity start it, and then rock your shoulders. You see that your shoulders aren't really rocking that much. You're... See your arms just fold, you know, just cross your chest and then down. So at this point, the shoulders should be rocking. You know, I'll give you a, a video of uh, Tiger's uh, putting stroke, and you can compare. It's really driven by the shoulders. And the second thing is we want gravity to start it. So we want gravity to start it, rock your shoulders, hold the follow through. Simple fixes, you can you can handle that. Okay, so face on. I'm sorry, down the line, uh, on the right here, indicates a serious path problem, which will actually dictate, uh, you know, a, a poor uh, um, face angle. And face angle is 83% of direction. Okay, so so, you know, the good news is you got it set up close to the center. Now watch the center line of the putter gets off the yellow line. So it gets outside, you know, about a half inch. And it should actually arc the other way in like a half inch or a quarter of an inch, something like that. So now the putter is outside. Now you're, you gotta, you gotta uh, uh, cut across, swing across the ball and you're actually hit in the middle of the club head, but but watch how see the path goes drastically inside. It goes inside maybe an inch, inch and a half. So to hit it straight, and you happen to hit it straight in this case, is at impact you've got to be fanning the club face a bit. Yeah. See in this case you started on the straight line, but other putts that same day, you had a hard time starting a straight line. Okay, so fix the arc. And what I do is turn around without a ball and put the toe of the club against the baseboard of a wall. So you can't loop it back outside. Now, don't get confused. The slight arc inside for a putter length of this on the left you know, for me, that's that's probably that's about you know a, a, a twenty-five yard putt, twenty-yard putt, something like. I'm sorry, I stand correction. It's more like a, a, a eight-yard putt, okay, 20, 20 foot or something like that. So, so the idea is. Uh, uh, on, on a putt that just outside your, your right toe, the putter is only inside maybe 
at max uh, half inch, so, something like that. So, okay. And then as you come down, you know, you, you just kind of cut across it. And, you know, if you don't open the club face up, the ball is going to be going that direction, right? Because that's the path. So you kind of fan the, the club face. But, you know, uh, so if you correct the path, then, you know, it's a pretty solid stroke. The other, other stuff is just kind of a refinement. And then uh, what we do is on longer putts, we just have a longer swing. Shorter putts, a shorter swing. And the only way to calibrate that is to go out and, and put a butt, bunch of balls uh, on the green and the first ball is like uh, 30 feet, the next one's 27, the next one's 24, and yada yada and and um, you know so you you sync the length of stroke to the distance. So the idea of, we talked about a hit in there, you can't control a hit under pressure. How much hit is too much and how much is not enough. Yeah, Snedeker has a pop stroke, but if it was so good, all the players would have a pop stroke. So you don't want a pop stroke. You want to match it, match the uh, length of the stroke to the distance. So you do that on the greens you're going to put that day. 